Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued blind let's play the casting of Frank Stone from the world of Dead by Daylight. My name is the Butless Bird, this is your Storyviz Gaming channel and today we're picking up in chapter 4. Uh, chapter 4 is called... These Walls Have Eyes. And as S pointed out, that's probably a... An homage to the movie The Hills Have Eyes. I haven't seen a lot of horror movies. I'm not too into the genre. I, I like horror, but I like a specific type of horror. Uh, so to have horror aficionados watch the playthroughs and can point things out like that is just wonderful. So please, keep those coming because it's always great to see. And it, it's always nice to be able to appreciate something that a game does to honor things that have come before it. Uh, I just think that's great. But yeah, let's pick up in chapter 4. Let's dive into it. So far, no one is dead. Not even Frank Stone, apparently. Somehow. I hope you all are having a wonderful, fantastic day today as we are going to explore the atrium. And we are Linda. Uh, I like how the game is so far is I, this place would make an incredible film location. I love your outfit, by the way. Well, thanks. It's Italian. <laughs> well, the shoes are Italian <laughs> and a belt. I got a cheat from a guy. He's got a guy who's got a pants guy. So I got these pants from his guy's guy. Had them tailored just right by the other guy. <laughs> you know, who also got the blazer, which is like a super limited VIP club edition. <laughs> But you want to know a secret? Sure. Found the turtleneck in a secondhand shop. <laughs> Scandalous. Right? <laughs> don't tell anyone. I'm oh, glad for that. Be sure of that. Because I did say that I don't know about Stan. I like all the characters so far, but I don't know about Stan. And he just made me laugh, and now I find him kind of funny. So it's made that one little dialogue can change your perception. I, I was going to say though, I like how so far the. The, the game is rotating characters. So, you know, we were Madison, now we're Linda. I hope next time we can become Stan. And that it's just a way to keep things fresh from new vantage points. Ooh, look at this guy. Oh, oh, oh what's that? Hello? Huh. Now that was a curious sound. Where did that come from? Oh, I just popped out a secret passage. I don't know if I should go here yet. Should I explore? Uh, I hate this about my playthroughs. I don't... Uh, I don't know what to do. Sometimes. To not advance the story. That's the thing. I don't want to advance the story. I want to explore, but... Oh my god. Uh did we just walk into the devil in me? Well, hello. It's like every room in the house. Yeah, I'd say this goes a little beyond your typical security. What do you mean? I get the sense our host just has a lot of valuable property and likes to be keenly aware of everyone's comings and goings. Heck. Uh, tuner, cat, top, pop, star, blisters. I can't read this. And unfortunately, no reaction to it. There we go. Has interest in temporal ma machinery. Temporal machinery. Interesting. We already know that apparently she's some sort of time traveler. By the way, I went back and I paused the video on that Fight Club scene. You, you know, when uh, there's like a flash and there was a character. The character is the shopkeeper. 
So the shopkeeper was like that flash. I don't know if that's a glitch or if that's something story related, but I just thought it was really weird. I don't see it zooming in anywhere. So it looks like this secret was just to find that temporal uh, machinery blueprint. So I'm going to talk to him. Guess I can't. with the tree. All right, well, it's time to go upstairs first time uh, ever, yes. I guess. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait, hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Yeah, what was your mom's name? Christine? Both, or was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... How did you know that? Okay, that's the name I know. You look just like her. Did you know my mom? A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Jaime? Jaime. I, um... I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bonnie had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Daddy, that's quite sad very touching company I'm sorry you had to go that probing one about your son um she she, she seems to be more questioning at the moment so let's probe Stan and what about you Stan where'd you get your piece of the film well now that is a very good question. Feels alienated. Uh. And an expensive one, too. Mm. But you know what? Since I am such a big fan of your work, I'll give you a little taste. Free of charge. I can't tell you who I got it from or why they had it. I will tell you that I acquired it from them completely by the book in a very honorable game of chance. You won it? Fair and square. Who the fuck would be gambling with it? They have no right. Ah. <laughs> well, it seems like you're more attached to this little project than what you've been letting on. You don't just gamble away something like that. All right. I think Madison knocked me back down the stairs. She doesn't like me anymore, apparently. <laughs> like I said, on, on a first playthrough, you only get one playthrough. Make it a good one. Turn up the difficulty all the way up. Make choices that aren't always the quote-unquote positive choices. Just let your characters tell a story. Uh, that's sort of like what I like to do. Cool statue. Hmm, missing a piece, though. Guy's got a giant chainsaw and a mask. Seems to be holding up something. Or used wow. to be. Powerful resemblance in Augustine's family. That or Augustine loves cosplay. Yeah, let's take a look at this. Whoa. Quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. Is 
The face of evil. Sensationalist trash. Sam Green took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. That fateful night, I had sent one of my deputies over to check in on things. Not my first choice. The flat foot was from out of state and a little green for my liking. But all I had to do was hold the line and report back on anything that's suspicious. But when Tommy called, I knew this was it. Standing before the furnace, I thought I'd step into the fiery depth of hell itself. And there was Stone, standing on that platform like a twisted gargoyle, a tiny bundle of innocence held in his death grip. I am not afraid to admit I was scared. I had only a moment to act before all was lost, so I drew my gun, took a deep breath, and made a silent prayer that my aim would strike true. Stone's corpse wasn't even cold before a whole bunch of out-of-towners descended on Cedar Hills, trying to grab their piece of the action. Lawyers, reporters, rubberneckers, you name it. More than a few weren't satisfied with what they found. They wanted to make a conspiracy out of it. So, said he must have had a accomplice to do what he did. Me? I don't buy it. Never have. That's because I know firsthand that he acted alone. Saw it with my own eyes. So to all those who claim otherwise, I say this. One monster was enough for Cedar Hills. Told by Sheriff Lloyd I should Cusick. check on Maddie. Can't be easy meeting someone from her mom's past. Suspicions that someone was helping Frank Stone. Yeah? And what would you do if it was you here instead of me? <laughs> no way. You'd be climbing the walls looking for a way out. Who's Dan? Psh, not in a million years. No way. Looks like it opens with a key. Of course. Man, this thing's like following me all over the place. Augustine has a uh, unique collection. I've never seen anything like this stuff. All right, let's talk to. Well, let's not talk to Maddie just yet. I want to make sure there's nothing over here. No, no, no. Don't want to do this. We already done that. Can't put it down. I can't put it down without opening it. Okay, let's talk to Manny. Oh, that's an advancement. Oh, okay. Uh, well, let's check upstairs first. I think this is locked. I'm not getting through that. Yep. And it looks like there's some clues here. There's uh, something that we can unlock there. There's that. And then there's uh, this thing. But I don't see anything that can point me to any of these things just yet. So, Maddie, how you doing? You sure would get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Talking about your mom? Are you talking or... to... mm, uh, no, I, I wasn't. I could hear you. I was talking to my mom. Yep. To Bonnie. I've just felt so, like, empty since she died. Like I'm sleepwalking through a nightmare and I just can't seem to wake up. It never gets easier when you lose someone. But it does become less suffocating. I hope so, because sometimes I just feel like I'm going crazy. Like she really is out there guiding me, trying to tell me something. That's why I came here. It felt like... That's what she wanted me to do. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her, she did everything she wanted to do and nobody could stop her. <laughs> that sounds like mom. 
Any good stories? A nostalgic, there's something I never told anyone else. Kurt, it's not a good idea to unpass. A nostalgic! Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but there's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Who years ago? She's that one of the night, filmmakers. We were on our way home from picking up a new camera. Which one is she? We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light, and the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. <laughs> and right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. Okay, that's Bonnie. The only thing that mattered was that moment. Nothing else. That was your mom. I'm still getting to know all the characters, so. Thank you. Hey, hey guys. Look. Like, I didn't well, know there would be. I don't see anything. Ah, there, right there. Oh my God, there's someone out there. There is? Concerned? Serious, ooh. Flip it. Uh, concerned that this might, they might be at the film strips. Serious, Augustine expected something like this. Flip it, and the pot gets anything. Let's go serious. Why so serious? I have a feeling Augustine expected something like this might happen. She's got this place wired with enough cameras she could catch a mouse. Yeah. Good security probably means we're pretty safe. Master right. did appreciate um, that. So do you think we should find Augustine? Give her a heads up? Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. <laughs> so, if you were going to have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. Almost looked like an old man there. I don't want to say it's Frank Stone, that's my paranoia speaking, but... Chapter 5, The Phantom of Cedar Still. Steel. Cedar Hills, 1980. Back with Jaime. What's taking them so long? I thought we were going to have a production meeting before we shoot. The band's already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls That's don't Linda. like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. They find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. Just got a lot to do. Uh huh. Excited or as excited? Absolutely. Hey, right on time. Time to get cooking. What? Nothing. Nothing. Just trying to keep a low profile. Bonnie snooping around. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get like every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane. It's all right there. No. 
tell me more. I've spent like all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. <coughs> and yes, I had some help from my uh, assistant. I ain't, please. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that you are an official member of the team, gotta wear the team jersey. <laughs> wow. This is... <laughs> this is amazing. I'm, <laughs> I'm honored. You wanna wear the stripes? You gotta earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Feast your eyes. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Green? Well, he's Trap Killer. Uh, yeah, so Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah, and Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. People around here knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. So Duke is not an easy. Um, uneasy. Stone's victims were real people. This was a real person. Yeah. So. I don't know. It's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to look at their picture. And this is suddenly now a problem for you? It's not a problem. It's just a little weird. You were just like super gung-ho when I got here. What gives, man? Nothing. I just don't want to like exploit any of the victims or whatever. Good man. We're not going to exploit Stone's like victims. Hame. I'm just trying to maximize the potential of our main location. That's how you make a good movie. Dubious to miss the point of proving you right. Ah. Uh, do I want to create conflict or do I want to? I want to stick to my guns. It's probably not the best thing to do. It's probably better just to go along with the group. But I, I like his moral center here, and I, I, I want. I don't want to dash that from him. I think you're missing the point. It's not about the mill. So what's the big deal? You don't think you're like. A little too excited about everything that happened there? Jaime, if it bothers you so much, you can always stay home. Chris? Um, he's kind of number one on the call sheet. What does that mean? He's the main actor. We can't shoot without him. Yeah, I know. I was just kidding, obviously. Obviously. Robert and I are going to look for any more locations in the mill connected to stone where we can shoot. And I'm going to go make this thing. Any way I have to. Ah, uh, it's... <clears throat> I don't know. Like I said, it, it's one of those things. First playthrough, just, you know, do different things. Don't be afraid to give characters personalities. Look around the garage to talk to Linda, okay? Let's look here. Murder Mill... No more edits, let's go film. Here, why don't you start with these? So we're looking for Frank Stone references. We're looking for anything I can't believe Mom's finally getting out. The mill that could be associated I can't wait. Hospital call, the Mom will be home Sunday. That's why I'm sure there's gotta be something we haven't found yet. Definitely possible. We'll find it. Here, look at this. Mill projections dire for fall season. It mentions Frank? No, but it, it goes into the mindset of the workers. People were depressed. There were suicides. At the mill? Not at the mill, but like people who worked there or got laid off. I'm getting tired of seeing those. This was a year or two before the murders started. Does not sound like a fun place to spend a 12 hour shift. There are a couple articles like this. The mill was in serious decline. But if it doesn't mention Frank, I don't know. It's all related to him, to the way he was, or, or 
why he did what he did or something. That's your expert opinion? It's just a hunch. I don't want to cut them off when they're talking. I pulled some of these today, too. What's that? Obituaries from around the time of the murders and a little before. Oh, good thinking. Oracle of the Omniverse. Guru Connor Barnham. Do you feel trapped? Are you living your life or merely surviving it? Does this universe satisfy you or are you left seeking a deeper truth beyond this reality? By harnessing deep knowledge within this book gleaned by Guru Burnham from the studies of those tribes closest to enlightenment, you too can assimilate the wisdom of the ancient's design and emerge from the cocoon of ignorance to soar on wings of cosmic bliss like a butterfly of enlightenment. Alrighty then. Okay. Oh, we can open it. Oh, I thought this was a movie. It's a book. <laughs> that was a movie. It was through my own practices, learned from my journeys through the African inter American interior, that I successfully elevated my consciousness to the point I was able to visualize another Cedar Hills, one beyond the veil of reality. This little town seems so very much like my own, yet so fascinating different in countless subtle ways. To give one example, my Calhoun family still owned the drugstore. But the manager behind the counter was none other than young George, the son who died so tragically some years ago. Here he was, in healthy middle age, a season of life I never knew he, he had reached. An I do. Omniverse? Far out. I drew two conclusions from the meditative voyage. One, that every journey through life offers almost incalculable variation. And while we may each have only infinite possibilities on our own journeys... There may be other journeys taken by mirror versions of ourselves that visit all destinations. Two, the different planes of reality are not so much separate rivers running in parallel as they are interconnected tributaries flowing to a single vast ocean of experience and possibility. To explore this idea further, we must consider some... Some... Cuts off. I wonder if that's like... I wonder if this game expects you to play it multiple times. And the game expects you to play it multiple times, sort of like uh, the Zero Escape series. And as you play through each time, you unlock more and more of the story, so to speak. And then there's an eventual, like, true end that can only be reached once you've gone, like, every single path and made every single decision on, like, every single choice. That'd be wild. But it would be very cool. Tom Holt interview. Item added. Sure End of an era. Sad to see it go. Cedar is still mail to permanently close. April 24th, 1967. The Cedar is still mail once the industrial heartbeat of our town is to be permanently closed off. Closed after over 40 years of almost continuous operation. Founded by Howard Kinsey Tester in 1921, the mill in its wartime heyday produced high-quality steel that was distributed across the nation. Mr. Tester's legacy was honored by his daughter Morgan in a statement given on Wednesday morning. Morgan Tester's statement suggested the family's decision to close the mill permanently had been taken out of respect for the memories of those murdered on its premises by, further employ by former employee Stone. Not everyone is convinced by this justification, however. Journalists sure can't get enough Frank Stone. Secrets of Killer Stone come to light September 16, 1963. As Cedar Hills tries to make sense of recent events at the Cedar Steel Mill, more disturbing details are starting to emerge about the man at the center of the scandal, 36-year-old mechanist Frank Stone, who was shot dead by police during a violent altercation last Friday. Stone, who our own Sheriff Cusick, is linking with multiple unsolved disappearances over the last three years, has been described by those who knew him as a loner, creep, and oddball. Most shocking are the growing rumors that Stone was taken on by Cedar Steel and its owners, the Tester family, despite a prior police record for violence. I wonder if Linda's okay with all this Frank Stone stuff. 
Uh, can we play the tape on the radio? anything like that night before or since and don't reckon I ever will again Tom that Tom <laughs> I know this Tom I would have even made it out alive if it weren't for Sam Green the man's a hero damn shame that no good sheriff's taking all the credit mm. damn crying shame he all but gave up on finding stone at the mill Sam Green he knew better he came right up and told me we had to search every nook and cranny of that place. And if we had waited just a second longer, well, there'd be one less beautiful baby in the world. Or worse. Sam took Stone down just in the nick of time. Like something out of a movie. Something out of a movie. I wonder if that really is like a movie. Thanks to Mr. Holt, nobody questioned my dad's story. Wow. They were friends after that. My dad gave the eulogy when Mr. Holt passed. Hmm. On that Tom stopped drinking due to Sam's kindness. How about that? So trusting in that guy was a good idea. Alright, let's talk to Linda. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm just not a fan of this. Mm. Understandable. Concerned? Her obsession with Frank Stone is intense. Insecure, should be <sighs> concerned. Her whole obsession with Frank Stone and the murders just feels a little intense. Maybe it's because she's not from Cedar Hills, but you know. Those victims could have been any of us, or our families. But they weren't. Well, so you don't think it matters either? I didn't say it didn't matter. I just meant it happened a long time ago. And Chris is excited because some of the locations could work really well for the film. Like this one. Take a look. What is all this? I came up with a new scene to shoot. That she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris? I told Chris about it last night. Oh, she was into it? We'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. This furnace chamber location is perfect, but I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. Encouraging? It's pretty rad. Disapproving. They shouldn't have wasted all this time. Uh, I don't want to be disapproving. Let's go. Uh, uh, stick with your first choice. It's pretty don't, rad. Don't overanalyze it. Time to shoot it. Thanks. Me too. Oh, yes. Huh? What is? It's a picture of Frank Stone. Look at the date. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? This is from before the murders. Before they realized it was Frank. It's about mill operations. Kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello. What is this? Look at the caption. Worker Frank Stone machine shop. Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. That's the place. It's perfect. So, time to go? Okay, people. Company move. Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Let's go, <laughs> let's go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. I do like Chris, though. She, 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 she makes me smile. Hmm. Now, what were you little ding-dongs working on? Hello. Interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the mail. Creepy. There it is. Oh, you see the creek down there? We follow that, takes us right to the secret entrance. I don't see it. That's why it's secret. <sighs> we don't have to do this. Yes, 
We do. Ready? Oh, careful. First step's a doozy. All right, are we gonna start finally getting into danger mode? All right. Oh, that this music. <laughs> oh, Chris now. Like I said, I like Chris. Although it would have been cool to be Linda in here. I don't know if we've been Linda yet. Or. Then. Actually. Nope. Nothing back here. You you would think. You would think. I can't believe we're gonna see the place where Frankstone actually killed people. Freaking wild. Okay. Two ways into the storm drain from here. One easy and one hard? They're both medium difficulty. Then give us medium one first. Well, medium one is to climb the gate over there. Then it's like a straight shot right in, but it'll take us pretty close to my dad's patrol route. And medium That's bad. two? Medium two is we cross to the other side, where we're a lot further away from my dad, but it's also going to take a bit longer. Those are both very medium. Right down the middle. So, which way? Climb across. Uh, time is important. Or is it? Or is it? Are we in a rush? I don't think we're in a rush. We're not being chased by anything. There's no reason not to cross. I mean, it seems a little bit dangerous, but you know what? Danger is my middle name. Okay, it's not, but still. <laughs> Let's cross. I'd rather keep a little distance between us and the law. No offense. Hey, I don't want to get in any trouble either. So, we should cross. Yeah. Oh, we didn't have to do any QTEs to do that. I'm shocked. Your dad really patrols the mill every single night? Ever since I can remember. Hmm. I used to think it was weird, but... It's just kind of his thing. Growing up, nothing killed a friendly conversation quicker than someone calling my dad the hero of Cedar Hills. I remember he didn't want to be interviewed for that profile they ran for the 10th anniversary. It had a cool title, though. What was the title? The Man Who Drew Blood from a Stone. Oh. Damn. Nice. I mean, it could make a good title for the other movie. Uh, other movie? We were just batting some ideas around, just spitballing. Cool. Uh, maybe we should stick to finishing one movie at a time. I'm trying to see if there's any totally. yeah. hidden things. But I don't see anything. That's part of the reason why I want to come this way, because I figured the other way wouldn't have a lot of secrets. Okay, you're going that way, which makes me think going this way. <laughs> Looks old. Huh. Bonnie and her friends used to come out here and hang out. That's Bonnie seems too cool to have friends. <laughs> That's true. They were not cool enough for her. That's why she moved to New York. Wait, really? <laughs> no. But she wasn't always so Bonnie. What? She was kind of a goody little two shoes. Who had bonfire parties at abandoned mills? What's wrong with that? It just doesn't feel very goody little two shoes. Well, Bonnie was the president of the Clean Up Cedar Hills High School Initiative. We'd come through here and pick up all the litter that had blown in off the road. Oh, goody little two shoes. I like how the conversation kept continuing, but yet they changed vantage view there. That was cool. What happened? Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Gotta love a happy ending. I didn't find any, like, hidden things at all. I know I missed something. 
Like, I guarantee you I missed something somewhere. It's like heavy rain. And I still suck at it. I'll be back, y'all. What's this? Just a sign. Although there was a scene in uh, The Devil in Me where you can get a character killed on a beam if you're not careful. I think I did get him killed in that way in one of my playthroughs. Just to see it happen. It was really, really awesome. Oh, hello. What I have gotten anyway, you see, I, I really feel like this item is not very useful because there's a very high chance I would have gone out this way anyway. Chris Gordon. Another victim claimed by Frank Stone. And gravity. And <laughs> gravity. <laughs> Yeah, I really feel like this is something I would have gotten regardless. Tattooed middle finger. Yeah. She tells me I must not doubt what I dream of. And that's 5 of 12, which means I have missed something somewhere. Uh, if you're wondering, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I will be getting all the collectibles in one of my playthroughs part of my redemption. I do think I said that in the previous episode. It's not something I normally care about, but I do care about them in this game because there's a lot of like Easter eggs and stuff. And I I think that leads to some very cool story. Made it. This place is awesome. I wonder what we'll find in I wonder if the other one was like on the other side. So you had to go like both ways to get them both. Absolutely sure this is safe and we're not gonna fall into some kind of ventilation shaft full of whirling fan blades. <laughs> I can't promise you won't, but at least you'll be able to see them as they tear you to pieces. <laughs> uh, thanks. Brought one for everyone? Yep. What you got in there? Ah, oh, well, the flashlights, uh, my notebook, some pens, a couple of granola bars, three ponchos, first aid kit. Bottle opener, sunscreen, collapsible cookware, and utensils. But do you have a partridge in a pear tree? <laughs> you know we're not hiking the Appalachian Trail, right? Always be prepared. <laughs> be prepared. Who is following us? Is that Sam's dad? Not Sam's dad. Sam. Yeah. Robert's dad. Sam. I don't know what that says. Liara? Charo? We must be under the mill by now. Just gotta find a way up. Haven't you ever talked Whoa. to your dad about that night? What night? The night he was here with Frank Stone? <sighs> there was one time. When I was little, and he was really drunk. Even though he doesn't remember, I kind of like knowing what he went through. I get that. He didn't talk to me like a little kid, or like my dad. I got to see him the way he really is. He showed me all his scars. You know, he fucked up his shoulder that night real bad. Still can't use it like he used to. Probably never will. Well, yeah, he was impaled. Damn. I didn't know it was so intense. 
He told me he and Frankstone squared off face to face, right here in the mill. The furnished chamber, actually. No shit. What else did he tell you? Just that he saw things no man should ever see or know. What does that mean? Every time I've ever brought it up, he gets that look in his eye. And I just don't want to see him like that. Hmm. Huh. You sound disappointed. No. No. But I'm glad you've got such a good relationship with your dad. Me too. This way, fellow travelers, and this is freaky right here. Beware the night watchman. Who are you? Can't react to any of it. But it's still kind of freaky. Oh, I remember this area. Go immediately off the beaten path. I saw something. What was it? What was it? I saw it. I saw it. Ooh. Who would have left this here? The Wraith, the specter that stalks the fog. Creepy. I like the little button for the eye though, that's kind of adorable. Little buttons. Another killer I assume? It would be really cool if there was more than one killer. Yeah, we're missing one now. Oh well. Oh, if I want to climb there. Um. What the heck? I have a feeling this is. Uh, I feel we should go back the other way first. I'm not sure about Linda's new scene, but if I pull the director card, she'll probably never talk to me again. Keep going. No. No, hold on. Definitely go back the other way. I mean, we're being led this way, which means this may have something that is different. Of course it's locked. Casting shed. Better get back to Robert. So I'm glad I found that key. And the key does not go here. All right. What are these? a random couch all right people all right people let's go come on can't all stand in the doorway hi me hi me hi me hi me hi me bro gotta work with me here hi me hi me hi me I mean, the game did just save, so I could exit out and just reload. Hi me, hi me, hi me, hi me, hi me! Don't block the door. 
Yep, uh, let me exit out. I'll be right back. Unbelievable. I load it in. He's still blocking the door. He's still blocking the door. Are you kidding me? Uh... No, the good the, the good news is I had that uh, cutting floor uh, option available because I pre-ordered the game with the uh, uh, I think it's the deluxe edition. I, I did that because I remember playing House of Ashes. I didn't get the Courier's Cup because I didn't buy the Advanced Edition, so I never want to miss out on something like that from uh, Super Massive again. But I do have this uh, tool, so if anything, I could just rewind to a previous, to my last decision, and play it from there. I hate to do that, but sky's my way. I'm gonna I'm gonna try reloading like one or two more times to see if I, I can fix it. I'm not sure about Linda's new scene. All right, but so if I pull the director card. She'll probably never talk to me again. So this time I ran in, got the key, and ran out as fast as possible. And that seemed to work. As I'd been saying, when I was little, and he was really drunk, even though he doesn't remember, I kind of like knowing what he went through. I get that. He didn't talk to me like a little kid, or like my dad. Got to see him the way he really is. There's nothing up here. He showed me all his scars. You know, he fucked up his shoulder that night. Real yeah, bad. Yeah, sorry we had a list of dialogue twice. Like he used to. It's just probably never will. It's just one of the, one of the effects yeah. of. I didn't know it was so to replay the scene. Intense. He told me he and Frank Stone squared off face to face right here in the mill, the furnished chamber actually. No oh, shit. What else did he tell you? Just that he saw things no man should ever see or know. What does that mean? Every time I've ever brought it up, he gets that look in his eye. And I just don't want to see him like that. Hmm. Maybe I'll sound disappointed. No. No. Maybe I'll cut out the uh, first scene. Well, no, because I'm missing some dialogue running around down here. I was thinking maybe I'll cut out the first scene so that we don't hear the dialogue twice, but it's it's not worth missing anything. I don't see anything over here. I don't see anything in here. What was I just? Oh, right. But I'm glad you've got oh, such that a was good cool. relationship with your dad. How she like picked up her line again. That is neat. That's a cool detail. Oh, here's the hat no that I was talking way. about. This is the hat that I found with uh, Sam. That means we're right beneath the uh, the grate. Yep, there's a grate right up there. Nearly there. What the heck are we being led by? Gotta love a scenic route. Any major plans for after we graduate? Uh. I haven't given it much thought. Not like you. What makes you think I have? I can just tell. The film, the directing, it's in your blood. And your blood? You want to be a cop like your dad? No way. I like movies too. That's kind of why I wanted to help out. Horror movies especially. Oh. oh darn it. Don't want to lose the dialogue. 
It's good to know that I could probably get it back, though. So, like I was saying... Oh. I thought you just liked hanging out around haunted mills. You don't really think it's haunted. Don't I? Knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this old thing. Oh, this is where we lost our flashlight. <sighs> Busted. Yeah. That's so cool. That this, this is really neat. And what we crawled under there, right? I think we did. Guess we can't crawl under there this time, though. I think this is it. Up there. Last chance to turn back. Nope, nothing. Okay. Uh, I, hate, I hate the fact that it seems like someone's leading us somewhere. Oh, thank goodness. Yes! Robert, you're a genius. Good call on the storm drain. Thank you, Robert. Come on, people! No more standing around flapping our yap sacks. One more scene and we're done. All set, Hyman? Ruh-roh. Oh, That's not good. Uh. And cut. How is that for you? I think we got it. You know what that means, right? And that's a picture wrap on Murderville. Way to go, everybody. <laughs> if it's a movie, how about that? <clears throat> Just oh, bad time one, Linda. Just proving a little premature with the face second. Assistant, we still have one more scene. Assistant. Uh, I think we still have one more scene left to go before we're officially wrapped. Wait, what's the last scene? Uh, right. Yeah, Linda pitched shooting a scene that would flesh out our backstories. Adding a little flesh, huh? Yeah, I think we could work with that. But you're playing brother and sister. Come on. With our chemistry? Nobody's gonna buy that. Where were you thinking we'd shoot the new scene? I do have a place in mind, actually. Oh, yeah. That's the furnace chamber, right? What do you guys think? I say we do it. Sounds good. She's all for it now. I guess the idea of going deeper in is exciting. <sighs> Yo, you coming? Uh, yeah, be right there. Did you see something? No, that was nothing. You sure? You seem kind of spooked. What's up? Nothing. Nothing, right. Except Jaime saw a ghost back there. Okay, I'm not five. I don't believe in ghosts. You will. Ah, get off me. Get off me. <laughs> gotcha. It's Bonnie. Bonnie. Right, Absolutely. I should have known it was her. <laughs> should have known. What are you doing here? I'm part of the crew. We don't need any help. Then I'll just hang out and stay out of your way. This is a closed set. <laughs> Apparently not. I may. Uh, um, Bonnie... I, I really think you should be helping Dad at home right now. You've got a lot on your plate, you know, a and... Uh, and that's all I'm good for? Uh, uh no, no, no. I mean, th th uh... <clears throat> Linda? Relax or familiar? Bonnie's gonna do it. I have a feeling that Bonnie's gonna do what Bonnie's gonna do. It just sounds natural. I get the feeling Bonnie's gonna do what Bonnie's gonna do no matter what we say. 
And that's that. Well, okay, are we just gonna stand around or are we gonna make a movie? Time is money, right? Just make sure you don't get in the way. We've still got a lot to do and I don't work well with distractions on my set. I think you mean our set. All right, <clears throat> but unfortunately uh, we are basically at the end of our time here. Let's look at the new relic, the Wraith. Philip Ojoma was already a ghost haunted by a childhood of war. Auto Haven Wreckers offered him a new beginning, but familiar pains formed like, followed like a shadow, ready to break his spirit. Now this banshee is suffering, stalks the fog, striking without remorse. Fear this apparition of terror. Fear greatly the wail of its bell. What wails for thee? Oh, that's really cool. Look at artifacts. The storyteller. Blueprints. Blueprints are a complex machine. Another one of Augustine's unique collector's items. Why keep the piece of movie memorabilia away from the collection? Time machine? An old newspaper article detailing the crimes of Frank Stone. He left a stain of bloodshed that soaked deeply into Cedar Hills before it was finally stopped. How could a murderous loner like Stone go undetected for so long? A sensationalist account of Frank Stone's capture written by Cedar Hill's own Sheriff Floyd Cusick. With so much going unnoticed under the sheriff's watch, how could he be so certain that the case ended with Stone? Oracle of Omniverse, a book written by local guru Barnham. If he really did have the secret of reversing other worlds, you'd think it would require more than 95 feet of Tainan. <laughs> All right, my dear friends. Well, my name is The Flightless Bird. This is your story of your gaming channel. This is a continued blind let's play of the casting of Frank Stone, a story in the world of Dead by Daylight. Thank you for everything. I so appreciate you all. You are the number one YouTube community in all of YouTube, and I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, Please remember that you matter, and you are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.